Hey folks, Patrick here from One Shot Kill It Media. Today we're going to show you how to put your CO2 cartridge into the magazine for the uh, Umarex Colt Commander 1911 style uh, BB gun or air gun. So first things first, what you're going to want to do is most of these are going to be pretty tight when you get them to where you can't actually put the, the uh, CO2 cartridge in. So you're going to want to loosen that with the big included Allen key that they give you. Then you're going to want to insert that cartridge in to the center. And then what you'll do is I'm just going to use this end for a little bit more leverage here. After you have that cartridge ins inserted here in the center, bring it up just to make sure that everything is set and tight. And then you'll want to go ahead and twist it until it punctures. And it gets a tight seal. All right, there we go. So that's nice and tight and that's sealed up. And you can see we've got the cartridge right in there, ready to go. And as I showed you in the unboxing video, the magwell on the Colt Commander will be able to accept the magazine with that cartridge in it. So that fits in there perfectly. All right, folks, so let's go ahead and demonstrate the blowback function on the uh, Umarex Colt Commander 1911. I'm going to go ahead and insert the mag. Now keep in mind, I don't have any BBs in the mag right now, so the slide itself, when I pull it back, is going to stay. All right, It's just like on a real gun, when you run out of ammunition, if it's functioning properly, your magazine will have that little lip which holds the slide back. Okay, So that's what happened here right now. I'm going to release that slide forward so I can go ahead and shoot one round here, or one shot, uh, not utilizing an actual BB or a round. So here we go. All right. So see how that functions? That magazine is empty and it went ahead and pushes a little tab up, which pushes up your little, uh, your slide catch and slide release right there. And then it functions just like a normal pistol would. So we'll go ahead and drop that mag out. And as you can see, might have to zoom in here quick. As you can see, there's no BBs in there. And this little tab, see it moving on the side right there? That little tab pushes up when you're out of ammunition. So that'll cause that slide to lock back just like a regular pistol would when you run out of ammunition. So that's a pretty cool feature. Now, in general, folks, that was just how you go ahead and load up the uh, cartridge into the magazine. Let me go ahead and show you next how you put your BBs into a magazine. Okay, so I'm just trying to get this to stay focused here. I'm going to drop a BB into this little slot over and over again until it's full, keeping the mag tilted forward. So that way they keep going up to that feed lip. Make sure you guys can really see this. The BB right in there. And then, as you can see, we've got them all set. And there's one ready to get loaded right on the top there. And I'll show you this too, just so you can see where the tension is. There we go. So that's your fully loaded magazine with the CO2 cartridge in, ready to be fired in the Umarex Colt Commander. Just so you can see where that's placed right in here, you can see that BB that's going to be ready to be taken in and fired. So next what I'll do is I'll show you guys a video um, of us actually shooting the gun here. Um, we'll test it out for, you know, maybe a little accuracy and so on just to see how everything looks. And uh, yeah, we'll let you know what our recommendation is. It's an awesome option for any sort of gun lover, young or old. Um, it's going to be affordable in comparison to buying a real gun too. And you can buy obviously a ton of BBs and CO2 cartridges and just have some fun plinking around with it. So I'll go ahead and uh, keep you guys posted on our thoughts here with it. As always, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe to our channel. 
follow on Instagram, like on Facebook, and we'll have plenty of more content coming for you in terms of air guns, uh, BB guns, real steel guns, all sorts of fun stuff, which involves the firearms industry. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you a little later.